by those were two little pieces by Schlemuller. First was the Bauern Tanz, kind of a country dance, and the second was the Legends by uh, each from different opus numbers. Now uh, I'm cooling off because it's really hot and if I use the air conditioner it's way too noisy. I don't have the right equipment. Now I'm going to play the very first sonatina uh, that I learned by Heinel. And in fact, I think this is the second sonatina I ever learned, period, on cello. The first being a Goltermann sonatina in G major. This is Opus 47, number two, by Julius Klengel.
first sonat sonatina by Klingel that I, I learned uh, was number two. Later on, I'm going to play number one in the same opus number. He wrote all three in the same opus number. Now, a little bit change of style. Transcriptions have been something that have that have been done for years and years and years. And I recently discovered a set of transcriptions that Carl Reinecke did for violin and piano, and then subsequently Julius Klengel transcribed the the whole lot for cello and piano. And now I'm going to play the first four. The first one is, uh, the first two are German folk songs. So viel stehen am Himmel stehen and O Tannenbaum. Number three and number four are both by Mozart. Number three, komm lieber Mai und mache die Bäume wieder grün. And number four, gestern Abend ging ich aus. These are freshly entered into news score so I can have my own personal accompanist just like everything else I've played so far. So number one, our favorite. Sure, I have the right song here. So if you stay on him, you stay. And then um, I have to do one thing to make sure that I'm really playing it correctly. Uh, these are simply good ideas. I think they're really good ideas for um, teaching. 
And because people have such a short attention span these days, I think they're actually pretty good for playing too. Uh, it seems like the simpler the things are, the the more catchy it is these days. So maybe it's not just these days, maybe it's for all time. And I'm just kind of a weirdo. But these uh these are nice. I mean, regardless of being simple, they're really nice little pieces and I'm glad to have found them. Mm -hmm. taken any Suzuki lessons you definitely know that at least two of those Comme Diva Mai number three number four and Guess You're Not the King of Shells are taught in Suzuki and probably a lot of other methods too uh, but I just simply didn't have time to enter in a few more there's a 63 of these short numbers in total and I do intend to go through all 63 of them so next uh, I just would like to play these these fantastic um, Etude Caprices by Sebastian Lee. He wrote a lot of etudes, and um, I haven't played a a bad one yet. He does get some pretty hard stuff um, that goes up into the stratosphere, which I'm going to have to practice a lot more to be able to at least manage it. But this Opus 100, our Air Etude Caprice uh, characteristic, and they're all solidly in the intermediate level, uh, but they can be tricky. I'm going to play number one, Le Calme, and I will also play number uh, three, which is a scherzo. And to play this, I will take off my headphones, since it's a, an A2. This is Calm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Despite the uh, kind of silly look I had on my face, I actually kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> Here's number three, the scherzo, a joke. <laughs> made it out of there alive. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time since I practiced seriously. So this is really good for me and I enjoy it too. These are brand new etudes. I just started practicing them uh, last week. And um, I've posted all, let's see, I've posted three of these etudes and I will post another one later tonight I've done number four which is souvenir memory. Now on to the very last number of this live stream today which will be Klangel's Sonatina in C major. This is the latest Sonatina that I've done by Klangel. And uh, let's see have I posted it yet? I don't think I've posted it. I don't think I have posted it. I've done, I've posted excerpts, but I have recorded the entire sonata, uh, Sonatina, and I will post it as soon as I get a chance to edit it uh, because I've done multiple angles. And so uh, I'm kind of a complainer, but my computer is really slow. I don't have the proper equipment to really do do fast work. So here's the sonatina in C major. And I will put my headphones back on just so I can really monitor what sound is coming through the computer. Hopefully it's been fairly balanced. Sonatina in C major, opus 47, number one by Julius Klingel. Thank you. 
For listening, I was wondering why it was so comfortable in here. It's because I left the fan on. So if there was a little bit of a hum, that's the reason. Um, that's it for today. And next week, I plan on doing at about the same time more of those shorts transcriptions and Klangel's third sonata in G major, the third sonata at number three in G major, who I will include to the list of his sonatas, sonatinas, and that will conclude his sonatina writing. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great week. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye for now.